Gray Galding may not have his driver's license yet, but that's not keeping him from sitting behind the wheel of this race car, which hits speeds of up to 160 miles per hour. Yeah, I love those moments because I know the adrenaline's pumping, your blood's pumping. This up and coming racer has no reservations about competing against people twice his age. And at the end of the day, you get some butterflies here and there, but you know, this is what you want to do for a living and uh, go out and do one thing, which is win. For Gray, it takes more than a fast car to win races. You also need a good pit crew, a supportive family, and of course, good sponsors. Um, I know how much hard work it's going to take, and I know you have to have great people surrounding you, and I got, you know, I think we have that, and I think we're on a great path right now. His crew chief says Galding is fueled by competitiveness and has a natural born talent which translates onto any track. Really impressed with the fact that he does adapt well to tracks that he's not been to. And for the guys that work on the car, that, that's really a, a morale booster for him. Galding is already making a name for himself in the racing world. He was the youngest ever to race with NASCAR at Bristol and at the Phoenix Mile. I think about that a lot, you know, it's like, wake me up from this dream. A young man on the fast track with his eyes set on the checkered flag. In Winston-Salem, Brittany Edney, News 14, Carolina.